Hey there everybody, Atlas here, and today I'd like to welcome a new member to the family. My little electronic bundle of joy. It was, uh, kind of a late delivery, but I'm a very proud papa. I also got these today, which we'll be opening after the Switch, so, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so uh, Jay's in town visiting and he uh been bothering about one of these for a little while and finally got through this weekend. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I make very good bad decisions apparently. It's a lot of money, but oh my gosh, is it worth it. Alright, so we'll start with the box. It's uh, pretty simple. It is kind of cool. I like they show on, um, I guess it's the top, not the front. The, um, the show it docked with the, the Joy-Cons on the little controller, which is kind of cool. They have the, uh, portable, right, the portable version on the back where it shows them sliding the Joy-Cons, so it's kind of neat. You get to see both of them. Then they have a uh, picture on the side with the kickstand. It's kind of cool. So, yeah, they really show you what you're getting. Wow. I didn't actually notice that before. <laughs> they have a picture of just them hanging by the, uh, the cords, that's not how I'd store them, but okay, it's kind of funny. Kickstand doesn't look like much, but uh, it seems to work pretty well. Alright, well, uh, not really sure what to say about the box, so I guess I get to opening it up. Alright, so I guess I don't have to be all that careful. I, I thought I'd need a knife for this, but there's no tape at the bottom, which is kind of strange. Okay, turn it this way so I don't block the camera. And Okay, so the whole top part lifts out. It's really light. <laughs> I've played one. I haven't actually held one of these before. This is really light. It just pops out. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jeez. I've seen them, and I knew how small they were, but this is ridiculously lightweight. Jeez. I almost have a hard time believing they actually play... Skyrim and other games are that graphically demanding. Jeez. Okay. This is hardly bigger than a 3DS. And then... Yeah, these things are really, really small. I'm glad they add the, uh, the little grip with the cord on them because this would not be very comfortable using portable without it. Man, that's going to get very tiring on the wrists. Man. All right. Huh. All right, so uh, there's really not much to them. I've only used them portable, well, separate like this very little, and usually with the grip on them. That's kind of an odd feeling. <sighs> yeah, that's uh, going to get a little tiring for multiplayer, but all right, well... At least it'll be fun, right? <laughs> Alright, let's uh, get everything else out of here. HDMI cord, of course. Hmm, wow. I kind of like that. They have the actual block on, which have little tiny skinny ones. At least these things have something to grab onto. And what's what they put in here? Oh, that makes sense. Putting it in the foam. Okay, I can see that. And smart. That's better. Still a little small, but that works. Let's see. And the cords and grips I was talking about. I'm going to be needing those a lot. And then... Huh. Cord. I haven't really paid attention to the cord much. That's uh, kind of a bigger box than I was expecting. Okay. Are you kidding me? Come on. It shouldn't be complicated. It's a cord. There we go. Looks like it got some good length to it. That's cool. And what I didn't know before until earlier today, actually, is these use the USB-C charging. I like that a lot. It is a lot faster than the old style. That is pretty cool. It means I'm probably not going to be able to use any of the cords I have for any other kind of charger if I got one for a, uh, well, if I ever got a second charger or a portable one, but, uh, Oh well, at least it'll charge a lot faster. Of course, the book. Suppose I 
probably look over that later. <laughs> eh, we'll see. What else is in there? I mean, the dock... Oh. I guess that's just the dock. Wow, it's thicker than I realized. I thought there'd be something underneath it for a minute there. Which that doesn't go anywhere. Alright. Again, a lot lighter than I expected. That's practically nothing. Jeez. It and the console wouldn't weigh much. Jeez. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> not really sure what else to say. I mean, this is it. This is a Switch. There's really not a lot to it. That is so very compact. Let's see. It's a USB port on the charging dock. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Okay. Well, I guess that's why it's charging with USB-C and not a normal power outlet. That makes a lot more sense now. You can't transfer data over a normal power cord. Where's the actual... Where are the actual plugs? Okay. So you have to open the back to plug in the HDMI cord and everything, okay. I'm going to intervene because this is taking a while for this part. Uh, it open the, yeah, it opens that way. There you gosh, go. Gosh dang it. That's, uh, that's kind of cool, I guess. I didn't think they'd do that, but okay. So, the USB-C plug that charges it is also a Apparently, what everything else runs through, too, from USB to the adapter to the HDMI cord. That's kind of strange. That's actually kind of cool, though. It's a smart way to make the console a lot lighter by putting it in the base. No wonder it's so small for portable play. That's actually really clever. I had no idea. I just assumed there was an opening in the back that went to a port on the console or something. That's cool. Okay. Well, I have to say, well done, Nintendo. No wonders it's, uh, well, it's good for portal play as it is. Okay. Next, I guess I'll, um, I'll see about putting the Joy-Cons in. So I've been told that, uh, it's actually a pretty gratifying feeling clicking these in. How solid it feels. Alright, so next we'll be doing the, uh, Legend of Zelda case, which also comes with the, uh, screen protector, little chamois cloth and uh, of course it can use the kickstand too looks like it actually covers the edges of it too which is kind of cool it makes the edges brown which matches the case and that's kind of neat all right oh and it looks like i'm finally going to need that knife why the switch wasn't taped up and this is i i don't know but okay that's odd see this this is how packaging should Gosh, come on. This is painful. There we go. Finally. And, alright, make sure there's nothing else in there. Alright, huh. It's. Nice and thin. Screen protector. Okay, go over there for now. Not really that much to show there. Nice uh, Zelda themed chamois cloth. All right, and then uh, of course the necessary uh, packaging. Sure, why not? I don't know if they really need to put foam between something. It's not like it's going to hurt itself, but I guess I appreciate the extra effort. Man, that Velcro is tough. Jeez. Not really sure what I need to know from a book about how to use a stand and a case, but okay. Nice embossed logo on the front. Of course, Breath of the Wild symbol on the back. Well, name, I should say, on the back. Right, I do kind of like that they uh, keep the pattern all throughout, even on the inside. And that's, uh, that's pretty nice. It's good detail. I like the multiple levels here so you can adjust the viewing angle. That's pretty neat. I'm not sure why this lifts up. I guess just for flexibility, and no, oh, that's kind of cool. Of course, uh, vents up top for the fan and everything else. Okay, 
plug in the bottom for the case, which, huh, that should actually help it fit better in the stand, too. This thing has a plug for going in the charging port. I did not know, huh, I didn't know this actually fit in the charging port. Well, uh, so Jay just told me this actually does not fit in the charging port, or charging station, which, honestly, is kind of a letdown. I've seen them in there, and they're a little looser than I would like, but, uh, Okay, oh well, I guess. Uh, still a nice case, still has the stand, works for me. Alright, so, next I'm gonna put it in and, uh, see how it looks. There we go. Okay, back. And then, uh, nice, right, so I guess it does close up. I wasn't sure if it was gonna fold enough, but it, uh, closed up nice and tight. I do kind of wish they'd put something at the top, like a little latch or something to keep this closed, but oh well, it, it'll work well enough. If it's going to be in this and not in use, I don't think it'll really need it, I guess, but that's a nice detail they could have added. Alright, so now to see how it uh, stands on the uh, kickstand style, of, or kickstand form of the case, I, I guess, form, we'll go with that. Uh, okay, so that one's not really where it's supposed to stand, and I guess it only has two settings you can put it on, but, uh, it's got a good grip for it, doesn't really slide around too much. Kind of like the lower viewing angle a little more, it might cause glare, we'll see when it's on, but, uh, I thought that would give a better view of the screen. Kind of a wider viewing angle, and it's, it's not too bad. Hmm, it's, uh, kind of nice. Actually, fits pretty well. Alright, so next is, of course... Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, if you haven't noticed a theme for this, uh, this video. Alright, uh, first I'm gonna get the plastic off so you can actually see the screen, or see the, uh, case. Try to do this without damaging the case. There we go. Not tear. There we go. Finally. Alright. I would say the case seems a little small, but I always forget, as I have not had a Switch and have barely played one, they, uh, it's gonna take some getting used to. Cartridges in a case this big. <laughs> I see a console that hooks up to a TV and I still assume disc. I actually really like the cartridges. They load a lot faster. It's gonna be nice. Alright, well, uh, that's the Switch, and uh, Breath of the Wild, and that kind of awesome, almost leather uh, case, almost. It looks good enough for me, but uh, yeah, I can't wait to try it out. I really can't wait to get my hands on Breath of the Wild. All right, well, that's it for now. This is Atlas, rolling out.